farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. Dear these tariffs. It's the king who sets them, not me. But you decide who passes, What's not the rush? it. Perhaps we might reach an understanding here. Eh? I advise you well. Steer far afield of Spitfire Bluff. Or first off. Ah! Uh, what? <laughs> 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 what was that about? Oh! We can't lose hope. Yeah? Calm down now. The butcher of Blabberkin. Ah, nothing hurts as much as life. Vulgar one can see it in your face.
fucking hay horse. Bet you're sweaty and all that armor. Well, you can. Wouldn't you rather sweat on me? Looking for something unusual. Oh, piss off the race horse. Surrender on orthodox books. Grimoires and tracts blaspheming the sacred flames. Why buy tomorrow what you can buy today? <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Days. They're brained, all of them. Hmm, I really thought witches would look more witchery. Silver. Seems the exchange is going to be unsuccessful.
stench of them here. Just wonderful. What if I can't get me? Interesting. We cross the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Will someone explain to me why you are here? Kesen? Kesen? Smell the angs in the air. Do you know it? It's burning flesh. Valuable experience. And you could add it to your guild card. Like the stars of so the Of island. this, I'm sure. No good. The big old buds be just a boss. The city is swarming. Bandits can't go out in the streets no more. Nice. At least the father didn't used to kill women. 
fall afoul of the king of beggars, and you'll get no mercy no matter who you are. You Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. <laughs> Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. <laughs> one went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery Sal, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles. Glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. What was that for? For everything. Fisher, you're sorted for at least two days. Just gotta oh. just the good position. Oh, I've got enough for living. What a freak. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. And as before trade, always. Up for a few rounds of Gwent?
Eternal uh, fire will oi. light our way. My regards to you. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sick me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. Soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a meat or is his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. But you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss and burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know, they had folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care not something. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs.
bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Nothing interesting. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. What can I do? Watch it, Tram. No grads not your hey, stopping handsome. ground. always return to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. 
Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Our dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. Awful pile. Oh, you scared. A brazier. This time of year? footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. What do you want? I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. your hair lately. <laughs> so, how'd you go with this healer? I was laughing about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Like a new race ticks, you're a bigger rag picker than me! Oh, God! A reaper's come for me! Welcome, Master Witcher! Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. 
By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Next time, Master. What? Come to sell them at market. Any magic ones? Woods. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. 
She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Spread out! Murderous still here! There he is! Get him! I'll break your bones! No mames, ¿a dónde se va? ¿Cómo es que no lo ven, pendejo? Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, 
Killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Felon's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running, for it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did you do this to her? Why? I don't know. Too early to draw any conclusions. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Those sadists ought to change their name now. Another empty formaldehyde bottle. Not a headache again. Ah!
Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Won't find any better. The thinking customers. Hey, handsome. Oh, oh. You look fucking amazing. Just a bit. Soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims, I know how they end. You don't stop, not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer. Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Mitty. After all... I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Huh? <laughs> 
What's the hurry, my prince? Won't find any better. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains. Oh. Hey, you! Yes, you! You've got water on the brain! Call this rain? I've not seen true precipitation. Hey, you! Yes, you! You've got water on the brain! Vampire? Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. My not cut it.
Sí. Saca, saca el bueno. Me dice como si yo supiera, ¿verdad? como que pienso como que ya me había platicado, yo creo. Imagino, yo creo. 
Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. Puedo ser el que no puede el rol. Thank you, Geralt. Porque estaba. But for you, this would never have ceased. ¿Quién la puso algo tú? La taza. O la que. Sí, la taza la pusieron y no la pusieron. Por entre los dos, no sé por qué no se la puso. Ahí se quedó. Va. ¿Cómo es esto? Ay, no. I was young. Me dice, hazme un paro. Y le digo, hey. Entonces me subo, la saco. Y, y la miro, ¿no? Para que quede bien centradita y todo. Y la estoy midiendo. Estoy poniendo las marcas con lápiz para ponerla bien y todo. Y ya que acabo, la pongo así sobrepuesta para ver cómo queda, si queda bien. Y ya que estoy, veo que Raúl tiene ya el bote lleno de cemento. Me de decir, ya es el cemento cuando ya lo tenía listo. Y no sé si se va a sacar el video. Y no, no, estaba arriba, ahí por un lado. Nomás que yo estaba por, el, por aquel lado y él estaba de este lado de la casa. Y pues como yo estaba con el lápiz y con la regla y el metro y todo. Pues le digo, mira, ahí está ya todo marcado alrededor. Con esos cementos y todo alrededor. Pues empiezo que el leche empiece ya. Bien líquido. Y le digo, Rulles está muy líquido. Ah, ¿no te pones la opción todo el cemento? Y dice, no, es que así me quedó. Y le digo, ¿qué hiciste tú? Sí. Y le digo, pues, ¿cómo lo hiciste? Que primero le echó el agua tú al bote y después le fue aventando el cemento. ¿Cómo ves? Ese cemento como bien poquita agua. Pues, y primero se le va echando a lo que quieres. Ah, primero el pinche bote, a medio bote, le empezó a echar el cemento. Le el cemento de acerca que se da y se la pone de poquita y poquita agua y se la va revolviendo. Como el agua los camotes. Que no ha visto tanto de cocina que primero la harina y le vas echando el agua. Le vas echando el agua. Cuando ha visto que al agua se le echan las cosas. A la mezcla, ma, ¿cómo hacen? ¿Le echan la mezcla? ¿Cómo hicieron para que nos quedara así seca? No, pues quedó medio aguada. Y así como estuvo, le... quítele, 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 quítele. Es que tiene que ser durita, mijo. Pues sí. Porque si lo es que eso es al... Como es puro polvito, se hace líquido. Sí, sí, pues fácil. Sí, sí, pues fácil. Treat her better than the dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise, isn't it? Professor von Zerts told me her wounds are healing faster than the dryads. Not the most flattering comparison, but maybe she might even sing again. It's the same. No matter what. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute. I'll sing. Pues puede ser como para niños eso, que se me hizo eso chica, pero. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Pero ves, yo no sé qué es lo que es. Es normal. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Pero también se me olvidó que la había puesto en esa bolsita. Y es que mi hijo, yo se la quise comprar en noviembre que fuimos y no. Me costaba dos mil setecientos. Igual que ese, ese es el que estoy uh -huh. Y no quiso, dijo que no, que, no, que quería la... La que color beige. Wey. Que, no, que, la, que dijo el señor que, que le estaban por llegar. Que le llegaban el chimbo en, en, en enero. Geralt. Entonces digo, no, 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 Pero no, es, es, es una taza normal, porque no, no es para niños, cuando dice la taza para niños. No, pues no sé, yo no me digo porque se, pues, se ve chica, pues. Acá no vas a estar ahí adentro. Pues sí. 
¿Quién se va a ir a meter allá a su cuarto, ¿verdad? A ver, baño de frente. Pues sí. Y lo hizo, ma, porque le dijiste, si no, no hace nada. No, yo no le dije, le dije así, habiendo poner, habiendo poner Raúl la, la, la taza. ¿Es que para qué la quieres si ya está allí? Pues sí. Y yo le dije, mijo, ¿no? ahí me dijo, ¿por qué, para qué, para qué? Y como están allí en alto, mijo, pues las muestras puestas. Lo que se veía que era que el, nomás el tanque se veía más bajito. La, la taza estaba al mismo tamaño de la otra. Donde se sienta uno, pues. Sí. Estaba al mismo tamaño y lo que estaba, el tanque es el que estaba bajito. Y ella me dijo, a mí me da igual la que quieras comprar. Le dije, ¿qué? ¿Qué? ¿Se usa? ¿La que tú quieres comprar? Ya, después digo esa. Si tú quieres, si tú. De lo mola, tú me digas, la dije, la que tú me digas. Si no, duele tanto en el baño. Seguramente es por la taza, ma. Pero pues nomás le mete por meterse y no porque quiera hacer del baño, me. Como se mete con el celular, ahí se la pasa. Me enciendo en la taza. Pero digo, ahora si no está cómodo la taza porque está muy chipajita y es muy alto, se te va a salir luego. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live on plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever say Pero lo que estoy pensando es que a lo mejor agarra muy poquito agua el tanque y, y no, no, no se va a agarrar cuando haga del baño. Pues, ¿sabe, Dan? ¿Sabe? ¿Vos no nos dijeron nada? ¿Va a ser problema de él, ¿no? ¿Por qué él lo va a tapar su baño y él lo va a tener que tapar? ¿Ya viste cómo anduvo destapando así? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo anduvo echando el agua este? No. Yo por eso le dije, mijo. Le dije, mijo, ¿vas a poner de la misma taza? Porque ya ves que, que, que lo tapó el esto, aquí, aquí fue la que fue abajo por una cuesta de agua. No, no supe. Y, y por eso le dije, tú pues, tan tiales le dije, porque como son tanques chiquitos, como que no lo, la tapó. Pero ¿por qué no bajó? Yo bajo. Pero esa vez yo creo que nunca se le va a tapar de la primera vez que era del baño, de que, pero no sé. Ahí fue y me, fue y me dijo, mami, uno puede para llevar agua, le dije, ¿dónde vas a llevar agua? Le dijo, al baño y que se tapa. Y por eso cuando fuimos a comprar eso yo le dije, mi hijo, ¿de cuál taza vas a comprar? Porque, piénsalo bien, le dije, porque vas a comprar de lo mismo que, que, que está allí en la arriba, dijo, sí. Le dije, mijo, ya ves que se tapó el baño. Yo para que le, le cambiara, ¿verdad? Pues sí. Y ahora con ese tanque que, que se ve más chiquito, pues yo no sé agarrar a mi mago, ¿quién sabe? ¿Sabe? No, no, tiene que ser más chiquito. Tiene que agarrar menos agua. Pues ya ves que se, hasta que hasta las 24 horas se puede utilizar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Sabe? Pues yo no sé, ma, yo creo que llega la noche y ya valiéndole. No, eso dijo don Raúl que hasta las 24 horas, hasta que se quede. No sé, no está sentado. Pues. Uh -huh. No, y más de tan líquido me quedó. Y por eso más, más bajito les quedó. No le pusieron, no quedó así, bolsito. ¡Eh, hey, no! No, y yo le dije, hazlo así, montoncito. No se puede. Te digo que le hicieron una pinche de razón. No, ma, es que por eso te digo. Si tú no le dices nada, no hace nada. Y luego lo ponemos tú y yo. Tú le dijiste que la pusiera, ahí me dijo, ayúdame. La pusimos. Pero eso, pero yo, 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 yo quiero saber qué iba a hacer este momento él. ¿Por qué nos esperó? O sea, no, 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 y no, me preguntó cuánto hago, cuánto le puedo. Ya cuando le digo, ah, hay que hacer el... Ya tenía el bote, eso está lleno. Y es que, como te digo, yo, no, yo le dije, pero no creí que lo fueran a hacer. Porque tantas veces le digo, no lo hacen. De haber sabido le digo que no, que hasta que estés tú. Pero yo dije... A lo mejor fue de por él. <risa> ¿Quiere ponerla ya pues, a la... pues, sí, vale, le... sí, sí, pues, pues, ¿Lo ayudo? ¿Por qué? 
Y yo no hay que decirle que el de ese cuco no, 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 no paga para que no vaya en la noche que llegue y querer apagarlo o algo. Yo creo que mañana hay que destaparlo, ¿verdad? ¿Quitarle el uso? Sí, que quitarle. Y quitarle y... y, quitarle y pues, ¿sabes qué le habrá pasado, mamá? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo le hiciste, güey? Okay? No, pero como tú, apagarlo, nomás. Nomás le hice para acá y... y ¿Pero y, ya no daba el brinquito? No. ¿Yo cuando le di, brincó? No, no yo le hice para acá y, y, y así como le hiciste tú. ¿Y, y no apagó? Y yo le hice para otro lado y tampoco. Y, pues, ¿Para dónde brinca? ¿Para dónde apaga? Yo le hice para acá. Y le regreso y era igual. Lo has de ver roto, ma. Muy mal. Muy mal. No, no, no. Es que, es que como te digo, es un, desde que dio foto... Pero el corto no tiene nada que ver, ¿no? porque el corto era arriba. ¿Pero te ríes de que quieres chispear otra vez? Pero porque ya ahora acá abajo quedó. Pues se, se chingó el pinche apagador, el interruptor de madre. Es que comprar otro. Ah, eso es. Sí, pues no da brinco, no da nada, se quedó ahí como estaba. No sé si le quede más porque ya ves que es como para intemperie. ¿Y ya por qué compras de ese mismo? ¿De ese mismo? Pues, yo creo. No, de ese mismo me compro, ya ves que no sirve. ¿Por qué se fregó si nunca se usa? ¿Eh? ¿Nunca se aprende? Pues. Oh. O sea, eso, eso, de ese no hay que comprar. Es normal. Pero, bueno, si el normal no queda más. Es que deben estar universales, ¿no? Sí, ma, pero ahí donde entra, donde entra. Para que tenga su tapita. Es que tiene la tapa que. para que no se moje. Si uno normal no queda, ¿qué? No, pues hay que ver eso, que es el Raúl. Bueno, pues es lo que te estoy diciendo. Si no voy a ir a comprar uno normal. ¿no? Tú vas y compras uno normal y qué tal que no queda. Por eso hay que preguntarle a Raúl. Y yo, no, y yo no Greetings to Master Good. Will you take up? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. 
letters talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenford Gate. Why'd your hair go white? it to you. I'm Skelliger bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Carrying grain. But that 
Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing Clan on Crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. 
What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Stainbrim. Well, Stainbrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Crack and take you! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Had enough? Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port side today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long.